Good morning guys, what is going on? We are back on the van build today. So today we're gonna to be finishing off this shower. So, well I say we're finishing off this shower. We need to put a front wall on this shower. So we've got a little bit of a frame for a door to go in there. And then what we're gonna start doing is we're gonna start tanking. So we ordered the tanking kit that came last week. Um, so we're gonna start tanking that. We've ordered the drain for the shower. Um, we've ordered the panels for the shower. We were gonna go for a PVC style wall on there but we've decided to go for the um the like slats so we've got like a marble effect slat so they should be coming either today or monday and then we're going to be able to get those in next week we've ordered the boiler we've ordered the water tanks we've ordered the gas canister the gas locker the only thing we haven't ordered is the pipe work and um, so we're pretty much we've ordered everything we need to get this van finished so yeah we're going to crack on with the shower today Hallie's going to be joining us a little bit later um, because obviously she doesn't need to do anything with the, the actual shower framing so I'm going to pick up that and then we've also got some tiles for the splashback to put on some stick on tiles so we're going to be putting those on but yeah we should be able to see quite a big difference quite quickly and um, we're looking like we've got some dry weather so it may take some days from work just to get this finished but yeah the end is in sight we've got um we've got loads to do this weekend we've got the underslung tanks to possibly fit as well yeah, so it's where do we start? So we'll start with the shower, wait for the deliveries, and then we'll start putting the first piece of the tank in, which is the primer. So yeah, let's get cracking. Done is we just put in a little petition wall. I say it's petition wall. It's just a front onto the the bathroom and shower. So I've got a, an off cut of wood that actually fits perfect. And um, so I just need to trim the edge up, so put it on the inside, and then we can start putting the front onto this. And then eventually we'll be able to put the door. But we needed this wall on before we can start the tankering. So yeah, let me go and get that sorted. So there we have a, another wall inside the shower need to put some filler into the screw holes and then we're going to sort of sort these edges out as well I need to sand these down and um, but yeah that's the front wall on ready for tanking we'll sort the external out once we're ready to get that sorted but um, yeah the inside of the shower is ready to go so this is the LPG system that we're going for it's the safe fill tank we were going to go for an underslung tank but we decided against it and we did look at options like Gaslo and just using Calagas in a safe locker and the reason we chose this one is because you can actually remove it from the van and it's refillable so you don't need a full port on your van you just take it out and take it to the petrol station refill with LPG and there you go and you can, there's no way of overfilling this either so it's uh, I think this was £202 probably plus that but we went for the option that you get the regulator with it and the um, the tail so I think we ended up paying about £250 for it with, with delivery so yes that's one of many deliveries that's coming today. Now I know it seems like an eternity since you last seen this pretty face but <laughs> Ali has actually arrived she's now working on the van because I, I thought I better drag myself out of bed and give him a hand um, no, in all seriousness, I have been doing stuff in the house up now. I've not just been leaving you to do everything well, on your own. Yeah, you did the garden last week, so I'll let you off last week. Um, so today I'm going to be tiling while Josh is working on the shower walls. It's not tiling in the sense that you might think that I mean. Um, it's going to involve no grout, no messiness. We're going to be using these stick-on tiles. So the benefit of these is obviously the weight. Um, tiles are quite heavy. That was the route that I originally wanted to go down, but we've used these before, so I know that they're fairly easy to work with. They are pretty expensive, but... They weren't um, that bad, actually. You do get a good result with them, and you, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but they have like a raised effect, just like proper tiles would. They're not just flat stickers. Um, and you can get them in all sorts of colours, um, different patterns, designs. So yeah, these these are pretty good to work with, to be fair. I think we paid £22 for half a square metre. These are off um, Amazon. You just have to try and work out how many packs that you need. We've got two packs. I'm not sure that that will be enough because you can see the area is quite big. So what Josh did last week, if you haven't watched last week's video, go and watch it if you haven't. 
So we took down the splash bag that was up there. We had an Ikea one before, but I decided that I didn't like it anymore. So um, just put up a plywood, uh, like under, under piece, <laughs> what do you call splash it? Splash bag. <laughs> um, and then I'm just gonna tile over the top. Now the only thing that I do need to do is just paint this bit here um, white because that's where um, the original splash back was sicker flexed on. So I had to try and pry that off last week and sand it all down. I just need to paint it now. So um, let's get on to the tiling, the good stuff. Don't cock it up, Ali. I'll, I'll try not to, Josh. <laughs> Same as Ali. <laughs> Tyler done, extraordinaire. We've done two two layers, is that? Yeah, that's two layers. And this, I, think, I think it really looks loads better, doesn't it? Like brings it together. It's amazing what just a pop of colour can do. They're the same colour as what we had in the transporter, aren't they? Or similar? Yeah, they are. So you might think that we're probably copying the interior of the transporter because at the minute it looks exactly the same. But to be honest, I don't really care because we loved how the transporter looked, didn't we? It wasn't so big enough. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with them. I love the colour. I know green very is good for everyone, job, but Alison. I, I really like it. You've done a very, very good sterling job. Thank you very much. Now there's two more layers you've got to do. Yay. Or is it one more? I don't know. Hold another one up. Let's have a look. So, you will need two, but you'll have to cut the second layer. Yeah, I think you're a really good one this is done. Yeah, I do. Right, so I've just finished doing the tiles. I am so excited to show you these. I could not be happier with how they've turned out. Take a look at this. There we have it that is our lovely tiling all done um it's actually turned out not to blow my own trumpet but pretty perfect and i'm really pleased because this is pretty much the only job in the van that i've done by myself and it turned out so i'm very very happy obviously at the minute we've left the protective um coating on top of them because if you've not used these sticky tiles before they can't they're, they're like a gel kind of feel so if you get dust on them though it's a bit of a pain to get off it sticks to it but um if we leave this protective um film on it'll keep them nice and clean so we won't have to worry about any wood or dust getting on them while we're working in the van still what's the job now then um so now we are going to start working on the shower we're going to do the um milky stage i don't know what you call it it's basically the primer i think so we use the tanking kit we bought this one Ever build, oh, I can't see it because you're in there. Ever build tanking kit. Uh, it's a three stage one. So, the first stage, what you do is you prime it, don't you? Yeah, you basically paint milk all over the walls and the floor. And all that does, it just makes the wood non porous. So, that takes an hour. You only need to give it one coat, but it does say give it two coats for like extremely porous surfaces. So, I think we'll just use all of it and then yeah may as well because it's a shower isn't it you need leave it to that for an hour to dry we're waiting for ups to deliver the drain hole so once that drain hole's done i can cut that because we can't start putting the tape on until i've cut the drain hole well we can do the corners but we can't do the drain hole so it's been lovely working in here today though because we've had the diesel heater on haven't we so that really makes a difference when you're working in in the van in winter it does 
Yeah, yeah. let's get on with the milk stage. So this is the tanking primer. When I say it's like milk, it's very much so like milk. Like, look at it pour. I'm hoping this bucket has not a leak in it. Mm. it it's such a bizarre consistency. It literally is just like milk. Mm. So, I'm gonna have to, I don't have to start from the top, which means I'm gonna need a screwdriver. Um, I'd say start from the top because you need to do the floor, don't you? So you're gonna to want to stand on the floor while you Yeah, so I need, I need a screwdriver. Actually, I've got my drill, so it doesn't matter. You only want me to do this bit because you don't want to bend down. <laughs> oh, I'm six oh, foot three. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah it, is. it does go everywhere. Okay. I've done way too, too much on the brush there. I'm really, really excited to get this bathroom done because I've had a clear vision in my head since since we got the van of how I want it to look, and I just hope that we can pull it off. I don't, I don't want to give away my uh, design thoughts yet, just in case it doesn't work out. But have a vision. How are you going to fit your panels, Ali? <laughs> You're going to do it. Yeah. Thought so. <laughs> Yeah, we're just going to do the bottom half now, leave it for an hour and then we might as well just... There's no harm in going over it again with the rest of it, is there really? So. No. But then we'll leave that an hour and then we can start putting the tape on and... Well, we can start the top tape, just taping at the top and then the floor. We're just going to have to wait until that thing comes, aren't we? Yeah. Oh God, I'm doing it again. Well, it doesn't matter if it goes on the floor, it's just make sure the wood gets it. Another thing we also did today, I say we hard did, but it's something that we've been meaning to do because we strapped the battery down. So we just got a couple of straps off eBay and uh, yeah, that's safe as houses now. So that's the first coat of the milk all done now. So we've done all the sides, the floor, um, done that floor piece there and also up the side of this, um, of this bit here. Up here. I think we're going to be able to get the membrane, not the membrane, the tape started on it today. Yeah, so I think um, we're going to let this dry a bit um, and then hopefully we can give it a second coat because I think if we've got if we've got the stuff, I mean we have, we've got plenty left, that's what's left over after one coat so you can see we've still got a fair bit left. Um, so I think if we've got it we may as well use it. While we're waiting for that primer to dry, I'm just going to quickly show you our new kettle. I can get it out, one hundred. Look at that! I love it. My brother and his girlfriend got it us for Christmas. It's really nice and it uh, goes with the van and everything. I There's just one problem with it. I love the wooden look handle on it. There's just one problem with it. It doesn't get used enough, does it, Ali? It doesn't, but you could change that now by making us a cup of tea. Mm, no. Busy. <laughs> I have been busy, actually. We're just taking a quick um, cake break. Like round, cake break. Um, my mum put us some chocolate cake round, but we have now done two coats of the milk, um, AKA the primer, on the walls um, and the floor. So um, the next stage now, will be the blue stuff i don't no, know what it's so called we've got to put the tape the tanking tape okay so if we just go back there without knocking the bin over that roller tape on the floor oh this stuff yeah <clears throat> so it's like a butar tape with a felt if you turn it around the other way so you basically put all this in the corners now because we've got cladding on the back here we're basically going to put a strip of tape across each of the cladding grooves just to make sure that it's fully watertight and it's covering any holes um, we did order three extra rolls, so we're going to have loads. But this whole back wall will pretty much be fully covered in tape. And then obviously you get a bit for the mat for the floor. And we need to do one across the join. But fortunately... We've made a start at least. Yeah, we've made a start. But unfortunately the full pole's not going to be delivered today. So I don't, um, I don't really know how we're going to be able to do the tanking. And so we can cut the plug hole. So... Self book storage did use the same plug, so I'm going to see what size hole they used, and then I think I'll just have to guess from there, really, and sort of cut it, won't I? Mm -hmm. 
Hope for the best. Now, contrary to popular belief, Ali was out here nearly before me this morning. I was. It's now what 9.20 and we're already in the van. I was showered and ready before you. So, um, no, that was a lie, she hasn't been there before the van. So I've just um, basically been coming here. So last night we had to, uh, we said we were waiting for the shower drain to come. So we realised that that wasn't going to come. So we had to take another decision and go and get another one from Screwfix. So we bent for, uh, so in bent for, bent for, we, we went for, um, in your shower, sorry, in your bathroom basin, you have like a smaller plug. There is like a push plug you can get. Um, but these are slightly longer. These are three inches long. The one we ordered was three and a half, but this will be long enough to go through the van. Um, but yeah, if you want to look for something like a small shower drain without having to go for the traditional shower trap, which is you have to make a huge cut in your floor to be able to get it out. Look for a basin waste. That's I think this one's quite nice actually, I like it. Yeah, we did get two. We got a, a like I said, a push one, but that was, that was a bit of a pain. But this one's more of a, a shower drain, but it is slightly smaller than the one we got before. Um, with the previous shower tray, if you'd like to <laughs> get out of the way, get out of the way, yeah. Um, the previous shower tray we had to have the waste in the corner, so I've just drilled a small pilot hole through the centre of the van, and there is enough for us to be able to have the waste in the centre of the floor there. The reason for that is because if we're at an angle, um, we don't want all the water sort of going into one place, and hopefully it will drop. Any comments on that? No, no nothing. <laughs> you, you just point out that you want to say something. No, I, do, I, know, I don't want to say anything. Did so, yeah. So today's job, I want to trim these edges up slightly. I'm going to run the jigsaw along them. I don't know if you can see because Ali's face is in it. It's got face detection. There. And that one there. Yeah, I just want to trim these up slightly with the jigsaw. Uh, it doesn't really matter because there's going to be a bit of piece of plastic going on there anyway. But before we start tanking it. But we did the priming yesterday. And today we're going to get the tanking done inside here. At so least the first coat, but... I think I'll get started with the tape then. I need to finish the drain pole first and then just paint okay. that and seal it. But with the tanking it needs to be above 10 degrees for it to cure. So we need to warm the van up. Much to add, is oh there. god, it's, it's zero outside today. It's going to take a lot of warming. This is where our fancy diesel heater comes in. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad you're putting it on. It's freezing in here. Right, so I'm going to uh, continue with this drain and then we'll just put some hammer on. And then what I'm going to do is seal it with Sikaflex on the inside. So if any water does ever get down there, it doesn't get into the into the wood. Let's go. Let's go. So I'm having no joy with the hole saws. We've got Amazon ones and they're just you know, the teeth just get out when oh, we're drilling yeah. through metal. So trip to screw fix it is. We need to take one of those tack pack anyway, so. I'll go do that while you start the uh, taping. Okay, thanks. Well, that was hard. <laughs> so we didn't have to go to screw fix because I just used the drill to, we'd gone halfway through. So I just used the drill to drill through what was remaining, but the gun tip's not the least to hold, so we just need to get the file now. And then we need to cut Ooh, it back. Daylight. I'm hoping this fits through. He says. Should do. Fingers crossed. Also, that thing is worth its weight in gold right now. <laughs> it's bloody freezing in here. There you go. Was it gone then? Yes, then, George. Need to chip away some of the wood around the outside, and we're good to go. Yay! Here we go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> So with the, what is it called? Tanking kit. Yes. You get tanking tape. So you get 10 meters of this. Yep. Now we did buy three extra rolls of it. They're 25 pound a roll. The only reason we've done that is because of the cladding at the back. So we're gonna put a strip across each cladding just to make sure it's fully watertight. So we bought three of them just to make sure we've got enough. And then what they give you here is a shower Matt, I think it's actually in two. So one's for where you put on the shower wall where your taps come out and then the other one's to go over your drain hole on the floor mm -hmm. because they're the most susceptible for the leaks. And then you get your, obviously you get your milk. 
<laughs> see? Milk. Comes in a little dainty bottle. And then Which is get, actually the primer. <laughs> you get the actual membrane. Now check your box before when it arrives because there's so many reviews of these where they've exploded in the box and they're quite messy. Then you get a little brush as well. I think that's it now, eh? Uh yes, that's it. So I'm just waiting for the Hoover to charge and well we can actually start doing the top membranes now. We've sorted the hole, it looks messy at the minute, but there is method in the madness. And we'll just trim the little bit off these edges. See so how it's got tapered. So Ali's going for the first stick now of the mem uh, memory. The tape. This is uh, fairly awkward stuff to work with, pulling yeah. the backing off. So it's a uh, butyl tape, I think, they said. Which is like what you'd use on your... So I'm, I'm going to pull it off as I go along. This oh. is Ali's tactic, she's got it worked out in her head, let's see if it goes. <laughs> It's annoying having this light Bloody right light in my face, eye. but it's really unflattering light on me as well. Hold it up there, so. <laughs> this looks like it's going to be a bastard. So I'm thinking if I you start gotta from fold there, it, like... you? Fold it and tuck it in as much as you can. Oh, I think I might have to cut the corners. Let me assist, hold on. Keep it in the mic. Let me treat you to a roll rally, so you can roll it on. God, there's lights all over the place here. This might take two hands. We shall return with the, uh, the verdict. <laughs> so let me just show you this amazing roller they give you. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me show you. Hold on. Let's just use our own roller. It's, uh, it just comes off. It's, it's wank. Alison, how would you rate this job? It, it's harder than I was expecting it to be, if I'm honest. It's really weird to work with because when I'd seen it in videos, I was expecting to have like a gummy texture, like the back. Um, but it's not. It's like fabric, which is, well, it's like a felt. Which is hard. But it is. It is a bit. It is quite stretchy. So if you're working on a bit and you think, oh, I've not pulled enough up to the top or the bottom, you can stretch it a little bit. Um, but it's just <laughs> awkward to work with. Um, We've just done around the top. I mean, it's not the neatest job, but... No, but as long as it does the job, it. then that, that's fine. It doesn't really matter how it looks, because obviously we'll have stuff going over the top of it anyway. We just need it to do its job. Right. What so, now are we doing the long um, down? Yeah, now. let's try and do the side seams. So we're now one roll down. Um, and uh, we've not even really, we've only done the mate, the top edges haven't we, we haven't done the bottom. So if you are doing this, I definitely recommend getting a few more rolls. Now granted we have put a little bit extra on some other places, but I don't think one roll is enough for what we need to cover, is it? No, definitely not. I'm just worried the tanking kit's going to be big enough, if that's going to be big enough now. We'll have to see, if not we'll have to order another litre of it. Come on Alison. I'm grafting away Josh. So what? I'll say, Ali, I'll say we, Ali's doing right now, is uh, we're putting tanking tape on the back wall because we didn't ply it. We already, already cladded on it, so we're just going to tape over the cladding joins just so nothing gets through. This is what, quite straightforward. This done. has been the easiest bit so far. All the four corners, top to bottom, are done, and the ceiling corners are done, so it's just this bit now and then. We need to put a join on for the floor. The joins in the floor and then the shower tray hole and then the shower hole. My Putting leg... the tanking tape will do to you. My legs are actually shaking, you know from doing the floor you just constantly down low. Honestly these these muscles here are gonna kill. We've come tomorrow. But I think we've put, pretty much finished the taping now. We've gone a bit overkill haven't we? We've gone over bits a few times but I yeah so we, we did a bit extra on the floor because it's obviously got some joins but we went around the corners twice just because we didn't want to uh well this is where the most of the water is going to gather so yeah we went around there twice as watertight as possible don't we we used three no four rolls we used in total didn't we yeah 
Yeah. A lot was on but the we back wouldn't, wall. But we wouldn't have used it as much had we not had to do yeah. panelling at the back. It's just that we wanted we to We probably didn't sure need to do safe. that, but you know, it's worth doing anyway. Better to be safe than sorry. So we're going to have a little break now, even though I've not really done anything. <laughs> You've not, have you? It's been, been me walking, doing all the work today. Walk into the, the bag, the rubbish bag, and then we'll get something to eat and then just put the first layer of paint on. So now that the taping is all complete, the next stage is going to be to use the, I don't know if it's called the membrane, but the, the blue stuff that basically waterproofs the walls. So that will be the next job. But what we've had to do is plug in this little electric heater um, because unfortunately we can't use the diesel heater at the minute because all of the diesel fumes are coming in through <laughs> the plug now that we've cut a hole there. So the smell is that strong of diesel that we can't use it because it's just gassing us out. So um, the reason that we wanted a heater on, as well as to warm ourselves, of course, is because um, the blue stuff, <laughs> that, Josh will correct me and, and tell you what it's called in a minute, but I'm referring as, to it as the blue stuff. Um, it needs to be 10 degrees, ideally, for it to dry properly. Um, so we're trying to give it a hand by putting this heater on and hopefully that will help to dry it out because it is cold today um, But fingers crossed that will do the trick. The blue stuff that Ali was talking about is called membrane <laughs> So what you do is you do it in up and down strokes in the horizontal And it basically makes an interlocking flexible rubber That's it. Uh... Yeah, it's quite a lot of blue actually Yeah, it is actually. I was expecting it to be like a dark royal blue. Dark, I think dry. it does dry that yeah, colour though, doesn't dark. it? Um, yes so we're going to get started with applying that to the walls. You can be quite liberal with it, can't you? Like you can spread it thickly, like yeah. like thick butter on toast. Now, because we've done the those slats ver uh, horizontal, I think I'm going to go vertical first, then horizontal. Okay. Yeah, because that's the other thing. You have to paint it in different directions, don't you? Do, you do. one do one coat in one direction, let it dry, and then do the second coat in the opposite direction. I'm out of breath because I live with a bastard to get off. <laughs> So I don't know where I want to start first. So I'll start with the, I'll start with the ceiling first. Okay. And move front to back. Yep. Right. Stinks. Get burns on my arm. It reminds me of like a thick face mask. You know, like what you'd get out of Lush. <laughs> like really a sure. really thick face mask. I'm not really sure I'm putting it on thick enough or not. I, mean, I think you can probably go thicker to be honest. Well, Slather it on. That's a good word, isn't that's it? That's what Slather. I'm thinking. Alright, you're going to have to move out of the way now, Cocker. <laughs> it's really difficult to know how thick to put it on. So I'm, tr I'm doing it quite thick. I think mine's thicker than yours. Yeah. You've got, got to be careful with the bits where the tape is, haven't you? Yeah, you have to make sure you cover the tape. We'll come back to you when we've done the ceiling. <laughs> so that's the ceiling done. Ali's a bit more liberal with the uh, the covering on it, so it looks a lot better than when I did it. But you do need to be quite thick with it. I don't know if you can see how thick that is on the first coat, but yeah, Ali's not sort of held back on it. There is some patchy bits on there, but they get covered in when you do the yeah, opposite coat. stroke. But yeah, you can see how thick it is looking at the paintbrush. Can yeah, you see that? That is the, the. I'd say that's the consistency you want to be aiming for if you do. You do use it. Yeah. So right, onto the walls. I'm doing it five minutes. She's on a tea break already. I'm quite happy now. I've uh, I've got a little stool to sit on. I've got my cup of tea. Where's she cup from? Castleton Coffee in Castleton. <laughs> there you go. They do really nice stuff in there. If you ever go. Looking good though. Let's get in there quickly. I really, I, I actually quite like working with it. It's nice. It's quite satisfying to work with because it's so thick. It's not like painting. It's come to supervise the job with me. <laughs> yeah. What so do you mean look. with you? You've not done anything. No, that's what I mean. I'm supervising. You're doing the work. Let's have a look then. I've not <laughs> finished this wall yet. It's still... very blue. It is blue. How's it going? Um. So it's fine, it's just because you're working in such a small space it's difficult to not hit the walls all the time and get covered in the paint. It dries quick, pretty quick to be fair, yeah. the top the roof is actually dry so... I don't know if you can see, come in and show them. Um, so you can see from the top it is starting to dry now because it's going slightly darker. So this is fresh stuff down here and then up here it's 
a little bit darker, so that's how we can see that it's drying. On a scale of one to ten, how much is that light pissing you off? Oh, ten! The, the, the job would be so much easier if this wasn't in my face constantly. Um, but it's like, yeah, it's going all right. I think we'll probably be able to get two k's, maybe even three if we work burning in that oil, as you say. Three? Yeah. You're gonna have a go at doing one. Yeah. No, you won't. I will. I'll do the top half. You do the bottom half. So then, Bob. We're done. We've done it. First coat is all done now. Um, just gotta wait for it to dry. We haven't used that much really, have we? Either. Well, we have used about well, half a tub, so yeah. there should be enough for you to do two applications from one of these tubs. Obviously, depending on how big your shower is, but I think most people's is about this size, if not smaller. Which um, so yeah, just need to wait for that to dry and. Then we can do the second coat going in the opposite direction. So on the walls you can see I've gone up and down. When I do the second coat, I'll be going side to side. Yeah. We just need to manoeuvre this heater now into the floor so it, the heat goes up and dries as it goes yeah. up. Yeah, it is drying though. Like the ceiling feels pretty dry already. So. Um, and the steam in here, so at the back of the van it's definitely dry. Yeah. But yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. I have grafted hard today. <laughs> There's not many days working on the van where I can say that, is there? It's normally you that does all the work, but I have, I have worked hard th this weekend in general, actually. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Very have good. Crafted. Very nice. So we're going to end the video here um, because we need to let the tanking membrane dry now. I think we need to let it dry for about six hours. We we're hoping to get another coat on today, but I don't think it's going to be possible. We need to let it dry out as much as it can. So um, we're just chilling in the van now, making a pot noodle. Um, on, the camp, on the camping stove because this one isn't hooked up yet um, and then next week we'll crack on with it we're going to try and maybe do some um, more, well, more well. painting of it after work or something but yeah we'll see how we get on if we don't manage to then we'll be on it again next weekend well we won't we'll be finishing it this week the tanking in the, at night oh will we yeah. okay right and then, so I'll finish my job and then come home to another job yeah and then next weekend hopefully the, the wall pa PVC panels will be there so that'll yeah. be a fun that is going to be fun in games might be one you have to leave me on my own for that I think I will so yes we'll catch you next week where we'll be doing the PVC cladding um, so Stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for watching us as always and catch you on the next video. Have Bye. a lovely day. <laughs>